Hey guys, I'm Matt Lady, and in today's video we're talking about prophecy blocking. Uh, prophecy blocking is uh, very simple, but I'm just going to go over the whole fucking process. And it works kind of like sexton blocking, but the idea is you block off and you don't touch certain mods from prophecies that are shit because you don't want to keep getting the shit ones. Now prophecies are doled out by Navali over here. You can view your prophecy menu and most times it'll be just fully blank. Let's just make mine blank for the sake of this. So you find Navali in Act 1 The Climb and you kill a goat and then you have her. And you can invite her to your hideout and then once that she already just goes to your hideout automatically. So you, let's go see her in her hideout because that's where she's going to be most of the time anyway. Where is, where is she? Where is she? There she is. So Navali has a couple options. You can view your prophecies, and then when you're here, you can seek and seal things. So you'll start out with uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blank prophecies. And uh, you'll gain access to certain ones as they go on. This is the prophecy uh, list. And there's a ton of different kind of prophecies. Chains, ones that give uniques, ones that give currency, ones that just have random shit happen, ones that have specific uniques drop, tons and tons and tons of things. Upgrade ones. A lot of them, most prophecies are pretty, pretty good. But a lot of them are trash. But there's some that are trash that you don't, you could actually leave and they won't proc unless you make them proc. That's the ones we want to block. So first thing first, let's seek some. So all these are good, and these would just happen as you're playing. Most of them spawn different monsters. Some of them are chained. Some of them give you additional stuff, uniques, whatever. Okay, here's one that we want to block. Now, Lasting Impressions is one that's a pretty common one, and it's super shit. All this means is whenever you find something that is written that you could click in-game, it'll just spew out a bunch of Wisdom Scrolls. But if you never click anything from the lore, all right, so anytime you see a little book like that on the screen, this is what is considered lore. If you see it and it says a little book, this means this is some lore about the game. So that's what Lasting Impressions does. If I click that, it will just spawn Wisdom Scrolls. We don't want that. We don't really want 15 Wisdom Scrolls. But if we leave it in this spot, that means we can never get it again. You can't have two of the same prophecy, all right? That means we'll just forever block that slot off. So that's a good one. Now, prophecy blocking, unlike section blocking, can't really actively do it. It'll kind of just culminate as time goes on. Eventually, you'll just get some prophecies that you just don't want. You could leave them there. And here is a perfect example of another one. Now, the Lost Maps, it says you will find maps near the center of the Chamber of Sins. So as long as I don't enter Chamber of Sins, that means Chamber of Sins either level 2, the one right there, or the one in Act 7 right there. As long as I don't enter them, this thing won't proc. And if I leave these here, that means they can't happen again. And they're taking up two spots, but they're preventing themselves from spawning. Now, you may not think this is like a good idea, but in the long run, this is going to save you tons of silver coins. It'll prevent you from using any of the shit things we don't want to see, pretty much. A valuable combination is another one that is done upon doing a chaos recipe. If you don't do a chaos recipe, feel free to leave this one in. Again, it's one that you don't want to hit, and it's kind of common. And this will block out off another. So now we're going to have three spots blocked. Three shitty ones blocked. All right, Regal, Death, and Anarchy Zen. So these are both pretty good. Uh, regal, Death gives you Regal, so that's fine. So Hardened Armor is another one, and there's one for weapons uh, scraps also. All this means is you'll use a quality on an armor piece and it make a scrap and it makes it 20 quality. As long as you don't scrap anything, this will stay here also. So if you really want to like perfectly block your prophecies, you could have these four in here at any point in time. And all this is going to do is this is going to make you hit the chain ones that are the most important ones a lot more frequently. Because of this one, your map... Oh shit, I'm tainted. Okay, because of this one you're mapping, you will then have a lot of your prophecies proc that you actually want to proc. You don't have to really worry about these shitty prophecies. And especially how rare silver coins are outside of leveling, which like, especially from playing solo stuff, and I can tell you it's kind of a travesty that you just never see coins unless you're rolling them on boxes. So if your goal is to be like spending your coins blowing through your maps as fast as possible, you'll often have the prophecies that you want to proc, the ones that are more important to you, occur much more frequently. A lot of the good ones are harder to get, and a lot of the chains that you want to keep running, since a lot of the chain rewards now are really expensive, especially when you have Pale Court items such as Uriel's Fostering, upwards to 8x for the right roll. That's insane. Utilizing this to give yourself a better chance against these prophecies is actually pretty gross. After looking back at some footage and doing some testing, I can tell you in Solo Cell Phone, I was getting the same shitty prophecies maybe 15 20 percent of the time and if this has at least helped me save 15 percent of my coins i think it's actually pretty beneficial and maybe it'll be beneficial for a lot of you players out there prophecies are great they, they give you so many unique things that can be highly profitable especially in a new league especially in solo cell found so the more shitty prophecies you can block off the better chance you have of getting the good ones this is another example the corrupt if i never do a side zone 
I can never have this proc, meaning I can keep this in here forever. So now I have five prophecies blocked off, five of the common ones, arguably the shitty ones, that this way I don't have to ever deal with. You could always seal them for the cost of whatever it costs. This one's six because it's farther along in the chain, and put them back in, and it'll reset the tile set. So when a prophecy is put in, it picks from different tile sets. You know, it says, oh, out of the hundred different map types, I want to pick these ten. So after it picks a map, it'll only spawn in that map tile set. And the only way to change that habit is to reseal it. Now, that might not be worth it for you, but if it's a way of expediting the process of getting some of these prophecies done. Once you put a map in, you can actually wait and see before the map even goes up, and uh, you'll see it'll yank the prophecy out. This means that this actually applied to this map. So if you wanted to and you want to get maybe another prophecy for your map, you can always seek it before it even happens. You can sometimes get double dipping prophecies on the same instance. For example, if I were to just do that and I would have rolled Overwhelming Riches, I can also have over Overwhelming Riches proc in the current map I'm in. Hey, there are the warbands. Bountiful traps. Nice. That about wraps up my whole talk about prophecy blocking. I honestly think it's quite beneficial, especially if you're trying to thin out and get the most value out of your silver coins. A lot of these prophecies are complete garbage and no one really wants them and they may be changed or upped or maybe have their spawn rate lowered. But at the moment, they're not low. They're, they're pretty fucking high. And if you want to get these chains done to get the better prophecies, I suggest you block off at least four or five. Because every one you block off is a couple more percents rolling in your favor. And it really, uh, in a game like Path of Exile, min-maxing, even if it comes to silver coins, is, is always beneficial. If you have any questions or want to see the prophecy list, I check out you, uh, suggest you check out the prophecy wiki. They have the full list of every prophecy on there. And again, majority of them are good. Even the upgrade ones, even the lower upgrade ones, you know, such as Kaum's Way becoming Kaum's, or Kaum's Sign becoming Kaum's Way, they sell. They all sell. They'll easily sell. You can even seal them and just sell the prophecies themselves. You'll see things uh, that might not seem beneficial, like this is a chaos, but then, oh look, it goes to 20C? Yeah, that's being fucking, that is being manipulated by the same guy, basically. So, all these prophecies are quite expensive, even the ones that you might think are really good. So I suggest you check out the wiki, check out PV Trade, consult the prices, and try to block off a few, because it really will help in the long run. I'm Matt Letty, and I'll see you guys later.